Okay, right. Hey guys, this is um the start of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards. Um, a game I'm now gonna do, and it's a pretty good game. I really enjoyed it when I first played for it. Um, unfortunately, you can't hear the sound. You just have to hear my voice. Um, I might try to sort this out later. But basically, I am just gonna play through this. Um, it's not the best Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, but it does have like the biggest storyline to it. So. I decided I'd do this, and it links in with um part of the TV series, which is pretty good. So here's Joey and Yugi, and they ask if I made my deck. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Because basically, your deck starts off rubbish. But anyway, if you press start here, you see you have a deck capacity and a duelist level. And your duelist level depends um basically lets you have certain level cards, like really good cards. You can't upload really good cards if your duelist level isn't high enough, because then you can't put me your deck. And deck capacity is how many cards you can have in your deck in a way. Like each card is a certain point. So if you had a really high duelist level but a deck capacity of a thousand, you'd maybe be allowed two good cards. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But as you get further in the game, things do, do get easier. And if you edit your deck, it can really fuck you up because you only allow 40 cards in your deck. So if you put in any more or any less, it can. Oh, it's all got so complicated when I was younger. But anyway, right. Let's start this off. So it starts off with the Battle City tournament. Um that Set of Kyber, here he comes, is hosting. Um basically in this game you play through the Battle City tournament and get up to being the top duelist around. And you eventually win a tournament. So he just talks about how there's six locator cards and you can earn these six locator cards and it will give you the location of the tournament's final. So to get located cards you battle people so basically we just get we just say here that when we get six located cards we're gonna meet up at Yugi's granddad's store because if you ever watch the TV series you'll find out that Yugi's granddad has a store so let's just head over to his store now it's over here somewhere right there you go there's a store you see if you head inside there's his granddad and there's Taya if you talk to his granddad he says he hasn't opened the shop yet if he has a challenge of a daughter pressing the R button, so that's your right bumper button thing. Anyway, right, to um get any further in the game you need to challenge some duelists. Um they won't accept, but here we go. So here's Weevil Underwood, or Weevil Underpants, as um Joey calls him. See if you challenge him, he says the tournament hasn't started yet, and he walks off with his crew. Um one feature of this game I don't like, I'll talk about it later actually, but Anyway, if you talk to this guy, he actually isn't in the TV series, I don't think. Well, he is in the first series, but not the second one, which his game is based on. But anyway, his book's wrapped. You don't actually have to challenge him, but I will anyway. There we go. See, right. So if we head up here, talk to Yugi, right. Yugi heads, heads off, then you go talk to Mai. She looks like a bit of a slapper in this, doesn't she? Well, it's pretty cool though, and then there's Mako there, who's a bit of a nut in the TV series, but he seems well alright in this game. Right, I think that's everyone. So if we head into here and then start to head out, the tournament starts, there we go. Right, here everyone comes in, hey, it's starting! Okay, right, so Yugi, so everyone comes in, who I just spoke to basically, and they talk about the tournament. Rex, I won't lose. We've all <laughs> oh, it's about time. Um my Joey Wheeler, you just wait. Um, because Joey beat her in the first series and Seto Kai, but I am for dual camp, this is where I prove it. Of course you do Seto, right. So here we go, we can go off and challenge some people, whoever um it, I'm gonna challenge one of the losers up here, because um you get your first locator card up here, but he's not in there yet, so let me just go challenge this guy. Alright, here we go, so basically in this you have to provide an ante card, which is basically the card, your rarest card, and they get it for winning. I just generally put down any old card, because it doesn't really make much difference, so... The battle system on this is pretty rubbish, if you ask me. Okay, right, so... So you're just battling it out. Battles are pretty quick, pretty easy. But um, one thing I don't like about this game is like the the battle. Um, one of the ways that the battles are done, it's like types. Certain types beat other types no matter on the 
attack points and it's really like not fair because later in the game the only way you'll get beaten is because there'll be a certain type and they'll just completely destroy you with it and I'll just sort of be like oh really that sort of sucks so yeah anyway the battles do start off on this game pretty goddamn easy they probably couldn't get any easier so there we go I've pretty much won this now but anyway guys, um, this is a fairly good game, and especially when you get into it, it gets pretty goddamn fun. So, right, here you go, I've won my first battle. Um, don't actually know how long I've been recording for, but I'm going to stop here. There we go, see, i got a card, and now you can put that in my deck. I am going to put it in my deck, because it is a fairly good card, and I can use it. So, um, just look at my deck, choose a card, I'll choose this ball. It's a uh, escocado or whatever. Okay, well, what? Where is it? What did I just win? Some zombie thing. I don't know. It will be here somewhere. Oh shit! Now I'm getting down to cards I don't even own. Got a feeling I went past it. Oh, maybe I didn't. I've just lost it. Oh, I'll add this back in anyway. So yeah, anyway, if that's how you do it. Um, now let me go save my game. Just to show you guys where you save your game. You save your game in your house. It's fairly easy to get to. Okay, would you like to save? Okay, save complete. It's as simple as that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this, and I will make another video very shortly. See you soon.